Hey everyone, this is Jason. And Jeremy. And we are the Balcony Bros, here with you on Full Game Friday. Alright, first of all, we it's kind of to make up for our awful Thief 2 game uh, playthrough. Yeah, it was bad. Which I'm sure lost us more viewers than, than gained us. Yeah. <laughs> Three full-grown men couldn't get through a half of the first level. Yeah, it feels, embarrassing. feels bad. But anyway, to kind of... Con uh, Consult, not consolidate. Console. Console for that. Um, we found another um, stealth game, which is a lot more fun. We can see. Yeah. Nice. You're not just wa we're not just walking into black voids anymore. Um, so here we are to bring you Mark of the Ninja, which I guess we should let them watch the the the, the cutscene. Yeah. As you can see, I have not unlocked very much yet in this game. I've only played the first two levels. Um, well, actually, this cutscene isn't part of the story. It's just showing him being a badass. I don't even know his guy's name. Ninja. Or Mark. Probably Mark. Mark Cuban? Yep. This well, is, this I did not a... find that in my research of him for that one assignment. <laughs> This is a biography of Mark Cuban. This is how he bought the Mavs. <laughs> he, you have, it's a very strenuous process to buy a team like yeah, that. Yeah, it really is. They're expensive. You have to take down like whole armies of men. You have to actually beat the team in basketball. Like all of them against you should buy the team, which is the final boss of this game. <laughs> Spoiler alert! But it, they couldn't—they couldn't get the actual rights to Mark Cuban's story, so it's actually the Harlem Globetrotters at the end of the right. game, <laughs> which is way more fun. I hear the bell. Woo. I'm here to help you. Oh. <laughs> get down from there. Don't get me killed. That made me feel really nervous when I first heard her say that. Don't get me uh, killed. Yeah, because I'm like, like an escort mission. Yeah, I was like, ah, escort. It's a, oh. Good thing I wasn't protecting him. You got him killed. Or he got himself killed. Where is he down here? Down dead dude. And I get stuck in the beginning of the game, going down a place I shouldn't have. I'm in the dark. I really, really like the uh, audio symbol. Like, how it shows the radius of sound that you make. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Woo, that was a far drop. <laughs> Mark don't care. I also like how when you're running, you can see his, sh his uh, like, after effects being left behind. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this guy's dead. Sorry, man. Good night, sweet prince. Woo. I also like the, the, the fact that when you're in darkness, you can really tell. It's not like, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm hidden yeah. or not. It's like, it's you come in full color. The entire screen gets brighter when you step into the light. And also, when you actually hide behind something, you're completely black. So... He's like a Super Saiyan. Watch out. Exactly Watch like a way. Super Saiyan. Did you... Fun fact, Mark Cuban... Is a Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan, yeah. So one thing that annoys me about this game, I'm just gonna come out and say it, the intro cinematic is quite misleading. They show him snap several necks. Okay. However, Keep you cannot me. snap necks. No, you can't kill anybody unless you have your sword. Or at least that's what I have been told, so I choose to believe it. Well, uh, when you, you can, like, punch people, but that's okay. only to try to stun them if they know to where run. you are. Yeah, to help you run away from them. So, like, you Why couldn't, couldn't I have gone up that way? So you couldn't, like, sneak up on that dude. You can hear the bird, there. see the birds. Hold up, run. That's cool. They'll be able to hear it. Did you see those banners? We could totally sell them to a gallery. I feel very Spider-Man-esque in this game. You can crawl up any wall. It doesn't matter if they have... They don't need, like, vines or anything, like, kind of handholds. Oh. Mark Cuban doesn't need a vine. I already have this, but I guess we should pick it up anyway. The grappling hook's real fun in this game. The, the simplified controls, I, I really enjoy, because I, I just hate it when... A stealth game just complicates everything. Yeah, um, one of my big problems with Thief is that you have a walk button, you have a run button, you have a crouch button, you have a toggle crouch button, you have... Um, it just is real crazy. 
Um, this game flows so well. It's uh, quite. Uh, it's really good in the game design aspect like that. You're not gonna kill those dudes. I don't have a sword yet. Good thing you were out cold. Looks like they don't know you're alive. I could get this sword and run back there and kill them. Yeah, do that. Alright, um, this is actually a game aspect. You can't kill anybody. Alright, you can't fight with your sword. You only use your sword to kill somebody. He's like the reverse Batman, kind of. Because when Batman has a sword, he'll fight anyone, but he won't kill anyone. Yeah. I wonder if I can kill these guys since they're like looking Facing right each at each other. other. If I had some way to distract them. But I don't, because oh, wow. I haven't picked it up yet. Oh wait, maybe, no wait, I definitely do, because... I, I forgot, since I've already played through this level, I've already unlocked the things that you get. I have the darts already, so this is what I'm going to do. Spoiler oh. alert. Oh shit! Oh god. <laughs> wait, maybe they'll get, they'll come out here. And see your friend, and you'll get her killed. No, I don't think you can actually get her killed. I really like how these yellow circles are where they think something interesting is happening. Or where the enemy is. So. Now is your time. Uh oh. Oh shit. You die really fast in this game, by the way, if you're. Mark Cuban, no! <laughs> I have one bit, like, I don't know what that is. One diamond of health. Rotated square of health. Also, this is one thing I really like. The, the detection counters count down quite quickly. Short attention span. Also, I really want to show you this takedown that I've gained. Because it's so... Oh, no! I screwed oh. it up. Oh, it's pretty cool anyway. So that's cool, if you get a kill swipe wrong, you still kill them, it's just messy and loud. Yeah, exactly, which is, I mean, it might seem like oversimplification, like they're trying to make the game easy, but it's made up for with really good level design. Ah! I almost Jim, did it wrong. Good work. They make up for like, that, I mean, that seems really pretty easy, but, um... But when you get into the flow of it, it just kind of helps the fluidity of it. Yeah. Also, you get points for hiding the bodies, which I think is cool. A little, little reward for your hard work. Oh. Uh, if you don't know quite where they are, you see red outlines of where you, th where you last saw them. Oh, I wanted to pull them over the edge. God. Oh yeah, by the way, this game is made by the same guys who did uh, Shank. Yeah. Um, Which is very fun. Uh, I didn't like it that much, but... Um, I enjoy it. I don't like games where you have to rack up combos. Like, that when makes you're fighting. sense. Like, I've never been a big Devil May Cry fan. I loved the first one, and I couldn't get into any of the other ones. I but heard I, the new one's not too bad. Yeah. I already have these. I, I beat the first Devil May Cry probably six times on my old PS2, and then I hated the second one so much, and the third one was just so difficult. See, this is, that's, this is also one thing that kind of annoys me about the control sometimes. It tells me to left-click those to, or I mean right-click to, to hit those, but I left-clicked and it worked. But sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so... Well, just right click. I I I I don't know. Left clicking is more natural. Yeah. I really do like the sliding mechanism, though. To, yeah. To make you. It it kind of enhances the fluid. Exactly. Because everything is very smooth, like its movements. Yeah. Not and his way with the ladies. <laughs> Mark Cuban is a well-known ladies man. I mean, he probably is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's rich enough to. invented Yahoo, owns a base or basketball team, tried to own a baseball team, but Major League Baseball wouldn't let him. He was one of the Raises bitters. yachts. Yeah. No, he, he actually raises them. <laughs> yeah, he fathers them and <laughs> breastfeeds yachts until they... Takes them through school. And from when they're dinghies all the way up until full yachthood. 
I did not know that I was supposed to do that the first time I did that. I thought I was supposed to hit this gong and they immediately look up and shot the crap out of me. It's a red herring. Um, You're not supposed to go for that gong at all. Um, also, there's there's three scrolls hidden throughout, hidden throughout all the levels. I've already found them for this one, but... Um, this will get more interesting ass. once we get to levels Jeremy hasn't played. This is the only level I've played, so... Well, you'll play the second one. Will I? Yes. No, that's it. You're not playing. It's so disgusting how slowly he, like... How, much how he has to rip it out. Yeah, like, how much resistance it shows. It's very gratuitous. Out. See that door? Don't do. open it yet. Don't, Just don't open it. Just it and try to sense what's on the other side. Kill that. So you're not, like, looking through the keyhole or anything. You're just, you're sensing. Um, the there whole the whole thing uh, is that like the tattoos you have on you are like made out of some kind of crazy demon ink. Um, badass. That actually it poisons you and makes everybody who has it go insane. But it makes them really good at, at ninja ing for a little while. Well, so that would explain Mark Cuban's abrasive personality. <laughs> it's just his demon ink tattoos. They're getting to him. Oh, that guy's gonna be so horrified when he turns around. He's not gonna turn around. No! Oh, God, you do, you do get points for going through the game without killing people. I've never. Oh, whoa! I don't know what I. I flipped him. Threw him. Dead bodies. Um, oh, yeah. Look, it says throw. <laughs> I guess. Bye. Um, one thing, when you hang, uh, the hanging them is really cool, but you can't, like, pick up and move their bodies after that. Well, they're hung. It's a warning. Oh, wait. Oh, badass. I'm finding things out yeah, all over the place. Throwing bodies, cutting them down. It's like a really dark Arkham Asylum. It is. Because you can, you can hang people in that game, too. You, you just, you, you pretty much kill them. I mean, you, you, you strangle them till they pass out. Which I don't think is a good thing for anyone, anyone health-wise. Except David Carradine. Oh! I died of autoerotic asphyxiation. Poor guy. Well, you know, playing with fire, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here's our very detailed map. Um, I don't think I ever used it once. Rescue all the, I thought I had rescued all the ninja. Oh, well. It's good to know that ninja pluralized is just ninja. Saves me from the uh -oh. the can worry I, of saying ninjas. Nope. Shoot the light. That'll freak him out. It'll turn around. No, no. Well, there we go. God, that's so gross. So you wouldn't think a neck has that much durability. I guess it is just basically really tough bones. Well, but. it's surface tension. I actually read a thing about that. About sta neck stabbing? Well, it's just stabbing in general. That's why bayonets have dips in them. They're called blood grooves. And it's to break the suction that a sword has when it goes into someone, because when it stabs in, the body will form a seal around it, and you can't pull it out because it is literally suctioned inside of them. Ugh. So that's good attention to detail. But yeah, that's why you see grooves on the side of swords, is to let blood flow out so it doesn't get all stuck inside of them. I actually knew that that existed in swords, thanks to Kurt Vonnegut, when you read, um, what, a Slaughterhouse Five? That is, that, that's exactly where I read it from, yeah. Oh, cool. Well cultured. Little uh, history lesson provided to you by Jeremy Jason and Mr. Vonnegut. <laughs> oh, that was cool. We have to rescue our fellow ninjas. Oh Ow! No. Why didn't you? We as many as we could. Come on! <laughs> Although, I mean, should, do they really deserve to be rescued? What kind of ninja gets captured alive? I mean, come on. Four of them, apparently. Yeah. Including our master. Like, that's just... You should be the new master. Master should... Cuban, they'll call you. <laughs> that was very Zoidbergian, the way you said that. Thank you. It's just... I pride myself on my Jewish comedy. 
I really, really hope I really hope Zoidbergian Bergian is a term that becomes used more often. Viewers, make it happen. <laughs> Insert it into your daily lexicon. New turn of phrase? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not new turn of phrase? There, Zoid Bergian. <laughs> Boom. Alright, who's gonna. <laughs> Slam the body into the gong. I wonder if I can. Oh, surprise. Thanks for not dropping me on my face like you did to that <laughs> other guy. Looked hella painful. Oh, I can't. It wait. wouldn't be very ninja of you. Wait. No. <laughs> Let me. Too bad. I can't be the next master though, because I got this crazy demon tattoo blood stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> It'd be like having... Can you drag him into the vent? I can. It's super cool. Oh, hardcore, you just got alien. <laughs> That's another phrase. Viewers, make it happen. <laughs> we, demand, we demand a lot from our viewers. <laughs> These pants are quite puffy. They're probably really comfortable, too. The parachute pants. Because <laughs> this takes place in the 80s, when Mark Cuban was just getting successful. You know what, I'm going to use this, because I think I get more points that way. I came really close to hitting that you just don't care. <laughs> I don't. They gotta drop you on your neck, drop a chandelier inches away from you. Whatever. Oh, no, I don't need to go down there. I really like the, the tunnels in this. I think they're well done. They're quite smooth. And we've made it almost through the first level, so we're already doing better than we did in Thief 2. Yeah. Not hard to do, but, you know, you know, whatever. Doing anything pretty much is yeah. better than Thief 2. I'm really sad that, that that we were so bad at that game, because I've heard so many good things about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I can... Oh, can I pull... Oh, I can't pull this guy in. You know, you get upgrades, so I might be able to get an upgrade sometime that would let me do that. Let's see, would this guy see me? I'm in darkness and he's blind and they, they only hire blind people for Hey, this. Paul, you alright, man? I, I heard something, but it's more than five feet in front of me, so you know how I am. I, I, didn't, I didn't have to kill him. You really did. In fact, Drop I... him down the vent. More points. To be with Paul. <laughs> there. Now they're, they're brothers in death. Aww. Which sounds like some sort it's romantic, of romantic, yeah. But not like in a sexual way, it's just like romanticized. Yeah. Like I like can I can see like a World War Two movie. Brothers in Death, yeah. Brothers in Death. Kinda like Brothers in Arms, but they lose. <laughs> Alright. I really like this 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 um ugh. I really like the uh, the look of the backgrounds and everything. It's, um, you can't really see it now because we're actually inside of the dojo, but, um, I love this move so much. It's so cool. <laughs> Went far to get him. Cut him down. Just no point <laughs> in hanging him. It's just, yeah, I, I guess there really isn't. It's just real cool to me. Um... But anyway, like, when we get to some of the further levels... The wrong guys to rob, oh, sensei. Maybe we should listen to this. <laughs> it's time for the old man got some nice armor. Boys. Yeah? What kind of accent was that? It sounded weird. Not ninja, I can tell you that much. Oh, this is really cool. People get freaked out, and they'll start firing and stuff. Right over the head of Sensei. Yeah, I'm not over there, idiot. I like that you can't always see what's going on. Like, you just kind of have an idea. Yeah. Although, if you jump up and look, peek through the vent. Yeah, but I like like the silhouette kind of thing. Like, that's the last place you saw him. Yeah, and you can hear his sound, too. Yeah. Why is it so fuzzy? Oh, because I'm not actually looking out. Ah, shit! Oh, you just spooked him. 
You should have picked up his friend and dumped him <laughs> Throwing in the vent. Thrown it at him? Or dumped the, the body in the vent, and when he would have turned around, it would have been gone. Mm -hmm. I doubt the AI would have recognized that, but it would have been cool. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the first level. Quite. If, if there is one word to describe this game, it is smooth. Yeah. It, we have stayed stylish. It is stylish. Some other S word. Superfluous. No, no, no. <laughs> Succinct. Non-superfluous. Yeah, succinct. We yeah, there you go. Not shitty. <laughs> honor. You can quote me on that, too. Would come. Uh. And so, yes, Master I Splinter. Upon a champion to fight for us. Who's this He's guy? The first I think I think that the main the character looks a lot cooler when he has his cloak him. on. Yeah, he looks kind of goofy. The top of his head is very flat. So much murder. <laughs> Nope. I'm not actually connected to Steam, so that's not that big of a deal. <laughs> or surprising. I distracted one person. Proud of you. And killed all of these peoples. 21. All right. Jack. You ready to take the next one? I can. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Walking, standing, or hang Direct to a blown enemy. Oh! Maybe we there can we pull them through. The Good. Emperor's Abyss. Buy it. Yeah. Is that, that was the beginning of a Daft Punk song oh. there, though. Yeah. Hold, hold and press up to perform a spin launch. That seems superfluous. Yeah. That is superfluous. <laughs> you know, this might either be Mark Cuban or an Use older Aang from Avatar. <laughs> They will ease the what, pain. What, does his avatar tattoos just disappear with the age? Well, the red kind of looks like uh, the arrow. And of the champions who came a little bit. You. Ooh, things got before dark. the restoration, as the other clans strayed and disbanded, a merchant sold us a sword. <laughs> he led us to a flower whose petals burned. I think if I ever need to give somebody directions, I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> this is pretty cool looking. The great these guys with these tattoos. Oh, he's telling you what I just told you earlier. Damn. I'll be that mad. Dude looks powerful. He does. And he looks like a ghost or something. Sounds badass. Here, kill yourself. Where do I sign? And your blood becomes ravens. That's where ravens come from. Every time a ninja dies, a raven is born. Or three, I suppose. Yeah, three. This tower stands behind ring upon mm. ring of You know, I, I wonder why why our must kill him Mark Cuban here isn't suspicious of his sensei when the guy yelled out, You robbed the wrong guy, Sensei. Obviously Sensei is I, I have a feeling and I have not finished this game. I've in fact I've only finished this level and that's it. Um it, sometimes you do walk past grades like that. It's a little bit difficult. You're right. Left clicking is more natural with the darts. Isn't it? It's like because it, it's like shooting. Yeah. Um. But anyway, I I I swear that Sensei is gonna like betray you. But but he's Sensei. Uh, you can hide behind those things. Oh, okay. And laser won't see you. So are they like? Painful. Lasers? Oh, they kill you in one hit. Okay. Oh God. Or no. Oh, no. No, I right clicked to hide. Well, it's already doing worse than you. These lasers kill you in one hit. Some of Those some of them just lasers. yeah. Simple bamboo dart. It's a good band name. Bamboo dart. Simple bamboo dart. Oh. The main no, I can see that okay. being like Bamboo Dart would be the name of the band, and then after they broke up and one of them got really like angry with the other ones, he'd he'd make a new band called Simple Bamboo Dart. Yeah, yeah, he would. How do I drop down? Right click and well, up. See ya. <laughs> God, I'm not. They can shoot through the vents. Oh. Did you though? How far did he lose? 
that doesn't seem, that wasn't very intimidating. <laughs> Did you lose me, or was I right here all the time? Can I throw darts at him? You can, but it won't kill him. Damn it. They're just simple bamboo just, darts. Just use your sword, Mark. Um, to, to do the to do the hanging thing, you have to be pressing down and right click. Oh no, it's the wrong direction, and now all those lasers know you're there. <laughs> Imperfect kill. Alright, so the lasers shut off for these guys when they walk past them, or when they're dragged past them. So I gotta pull his body with me. Exactly. Neato. I'll just drop him off. Like a load of laundry that you are dropping off at somebody's house. Yeah. A laundry house. Or like a dry cleaner. Yeah, that's it. So will he be able to see me if I'm up there? Um, if he walks close enough, I think his group. I think it, or you could just go down through that. Oh, I can pull line. up now. Oh, you can just destroy the laser. Oh. Now he'll be like, "What? What happened?" I'm gonna pull him down. Ooh, let's hope that, that was actually what that thing did. Press up. Oh yeah. Ooh, wow. The Emperor and, of the Abyss. And you get a little body hidden thing. Yeah, it's two in one. He raised an alarm, but what good did it do? Now he's in the Emperor's Abyss. <laughs> the Emperor's down there, like, having tea, just awaited that there's somebody the with him now. But be careful. Hang him. Catwalks are crawling with guards. Yeah, okay. Fuck. <laughs> that was a really weird laugh, but... <laughs> there we go. I finally get something right with my life. You know, screwing up that move doesn't really change it that much. It made it go slower. But that's it? it. Uh, you have to go to that guy yeah, from the bottom. Don't tell me how to ninja. Hey. Fuck. Hey, this, don't get hit once because... Oh no, wait, you have four holes. Wow, your wrist. Ooh, that you're was, next. That's some very graphic gurglings there. Now drop the, good. drop the bodies down below on top of you is for their friends. Another really good band name is Graphic Gurglings. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> what scared him? I don't know. You freaked him out though. Spider-Man is the knight. What? No! He just punched him. I don't know what his little... I guess that little squiggle means he's like freaking... He is. Yeah, out. he is terrified. Somebody keeps dropping down and punching me in the back of the head. I mean, it hurts. It doesn't... Where did he go? I think he's probably over there. Okay. Did he drop a body on him? Yep. <laughs> Not phased. <laughs> oh, what was that? Raining or something? Somebody throwing something? Why is he not more terrified? They need better left than seen. You're welcome. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck is right. All right, not the smoothest that could have gone, but you know what? Oh God, I am oh, just scaring everyone. Oh, no. no. There we go. Poor guy. <laughs> I, I think you've killed most everyone. Exactly what ninjas do. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's their one goal. If you were trying to set off every alarm in the building, I think you missed one. Ooh, sassy! Bitch, <laughs> I got the job done. Just go down there and punch it. Subtle. Looks like a little train. Sometimes the cartoonish aspects do, I think, kind of not mess with mesh with the background so well. Mm. Like when that machine just exploded, it let off a really cartoony puff of smoke. Um, I don't know what any of this is. That's, that, those are the upgrades you chose in the beginning of the game. It like let up a real cartoony puff of smoke, but then the background's all like black and white negatives and stuff. Mm. So 
If a guard is blocking your way, you can try. What? Nice. Oh, these are firecrackers. You. Um, Where'd my darts go? You just scroll. Oh, okay. You distract him. I am so bad. You, you keep jumping in front of them. It's hard to like gauge how it is, far. It is. It is. Yep, that's what I wanted. Into the emperor's abyss with with you. Enjoy the abyss. That doesn't look like somewhere. Right. That that is actually where you're supposed to go. Really? Yeah, you're not supposed to jump through it. Just go over there. Oh, okay. Go over there. I'm going. All right. Jump and press control so you'll stop time. Although you're not really stopping time, just your He's magical just... poison tattoos are making you react quicker. Mark Cuban and the tale of the magical poison tattoos. Ooh. Close. What? Oh, okay. And I also find it very weird that sometimes... Like, E and right click are interchangeable. And... Nope! No! <laughs> no! Oh. Well... And now you're dead. But, luckily this thing is very generous with restarting you. Yeah. Like, it doesn't pull you back. Unlike long. Thief. Which we had to quick save every couple of seconds. <laughs> but we didn't. No. Because... Be quick saves, I mean... Modern gaming doesn't have quick saves. It right. quick saves for you. All right, go go now. Go down. I don't know why I think I need to jump before everything. Sometimes I did the same thing. Like um, when you're coming out of cover, you're not exactly sure what to press. Those will always be off now. I'm a saint. You could have just hit their their box and shut them off. Come on, ring those guns, everybody. <laughs> uh, what have I if, done? if I was better with lyrics, I could have ended that song with something about ninjas, but... Sorry, YouTube. What did I just do? You're in a challenge room. Which, I figured this out pretty quickly. Let's see. Let's see how fast you can. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Quite digital, though. Oh, no. So you're trying to get up there, obviously, because that's where that's where another one of those scrolls would have been. Oh, and so I, you've already done this? Yeah. I saw it wanted me to press. There we go. Yeah, you can drag it. Got it. Nope, stop. What? No, I'm just. I'm gonna keep going, man. I think the car kind of cartoony art style works a lot better here than it does in Shane 2. Or Shane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um... I don't know why. It just seems to sort of fit in. Shank was really, like, the subject matter of that? Am I doing this right? No. Yeah, now, I didn't now you're think stuck. so. But I need it to be there, right? Yeah, you do. Just jump over it yeah. and then... But, like, Shank was about, like, your girlfriend getting raped and stuff. And oh, I only played, like, the first couple levels. Well, that, you, that's revealed in the first... Oh, wow, you almost toasted yourself there. That's revealed in the first... In, like, in the first cutscene. That's who you're hunting down is to, to kill them. I very well might have skipped that. Okay. Well, you're hunting down the guy who raped your girlfriend. and But it's all, like, cartoony looking like this. Yeah. So... It's, it was like, I, 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 think, I think the cartoony style is good in some cases, but not all. Like, Killer7 and 13 did cell shading really well. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to play, like, Skyrim cell shaded. Yeah. True. You won. Woo! The sounds are pretty good. I just, I never, like, just hearing yeah. you run through that vent was pretty, it made a good vent noise. Great job, Foley artists. Well, you know, I mean, that's important, too, because if you if it didn't, then you'd be like, oh, that's not the noise that Ben makes. I'm completely taken out of this immersion. Yeah. This room always gave me trouble. Always? Always. Like, back when I was a little kid and video games didn't exist. I'm pretty sure they existed. 
They did, but you know what the first game I remember really watching? Ooh. That was close. Was my dad playing Doom. So that's that's still pretty old. Yeah. You have to remember, I'm much older and wiser than you are, Jason. Very true. <laughs> that think... room gave you trouble. Yes. <laughs> it did. You know what? It, you're just I, you're just lucky I'm here to tell you what to do. I'm gonna make you go and play Thief some more oh. <laughs> by yourself. I'll lock you in your own. I'll take away everything else from you and lock you in your room. Oh, my God. And then make you play Steam, uh, Thief. I'm so addicted to Steam. It's it's unhealthy. It is unhealthy. I've like I've always been pretty good like managing my money. I I'm, haven't been. I like to think That's um, why I, I don't sign in. The blackout's working. All the guards fuss over that. We can slip right by them. Oh, that was lucky. I was that was behind him, but he turned around. Good. Yeah. Um. Like today, I I, I don't know. I I have the money to pay for the things that I want. Right now, you can't hide them behind pots. You should, but you can't. Um, but just this impulse buying thing is not a good thing, like, not a good habit to get into. I'm the same way with Blu rays and uh, Amazon. It's like, oh, that's usually 20 and they have it for 13 I'll get it, even though I only have $40 Ooh, in can my you account. Do that a bit? No, you can't. No, because you're not, not actually in, in, I'm not in the abyss. You're but he's in hell. Oh, they no. heard you. You should have hid the body. They'll, they'll bring up an alarm. Maybe you can kill him real quick before. Or hey. right, do that. Alarm raised anyway. He's mine now. <laughs> That's not working. There's no you there. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, nope. Oh man, he was like looking right at you. God damn it. He's smart. The way you climb back up your rope, your chain is really weird looking. He gets all spiraly. Ooh, got some points for distracting him. Now get some points for murdering him. And then dropping him down there might help. Yeah, this is Point City. Point City, City, bitch. Point, point City, bitch. <laughs> What's that for that I do... Okay, this is what I wanted to say earlier, but then I didn't because something happened in the game. Um, I really like the, the set design in the game because um, it merges the set. Emperor's like, Abyss. <laughs> yeah, that's a leap of fate because he's on the edge. I'll get them both. <laughs> You're just going to keep pulling them one after another? Yep. I doubt, I bet the, the second guy will shoot you. Don't try. Hey, what's going on? I'm really glad ah. you did, because I would have thought that would be really stupid Aww. if you was able to, if you were able to get all three. Yeah. Um, but like this kind of combination of the old fashioned, like... Ooh, didn't do that well. You swiped the wrong way. Did I? Yeah. Are they coming? The well, other guy was... isn't. Perfect. Um, like the old fashioned. I, I keep trying to finish this statement and I keep stopping. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a bad with my word speaks from my mouth hole. Old fashioned. Old fashioned? You were saying. Um, the old fashioned um, influences of like ancient Japan with the ninjas and the whatnot, but also like the new architecture and stuff. Yeah. I think it's a really interesting combination. And Crap. could look it could look really tacky, but they do it really well. And I think it's because they keep so much blacked out. Um, yeah, look at that—a relic that's just hiding down there. Emperor's abyss. Who put that there? This will keep this artifact safe. That's that's the guy that thought it would be good. <laughs> that's a good voice. Thank you. I've been honing my voice acting talent since our Cthulhu video. No, I didn't mean to make you mad when I said that you weren't good at voice acting. Oh, it really Google. hurt, and it really hurt my feelings. I was just, I was just joking. I was trying to make other people laugh. Leave him there in the light. 
a warning. It's like some modern art. Damn it. Well, go in. You want to go, go in then? The spire of glass and steel. What I call my penis. How many times have you made that joke? Not enough. <laughs> Call my penis a lot of things. Oh no! Hi. <laughs> Never. Hey, you're on the 15th floor. Not for long. You didn't have to kill that guy. But I wanted to. What if he had like a family? Oh, we probably did. <laughs> oh. Definitely heard you running. Uh. Uh oh. This is some very ominous lights. They sound like lightning. No, I don't like the way that sentence worked. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! You failed reaching the top of the tower without being detected. I could have done it. I'd be careful, are You? He's still looking for you, and he still thinks he wants to. Well he, well, he knows I did. Can't see. Do I make the risk? You. You make that risk. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you got some more points. Oh no. Just. <laughs> Did it for the points. So I bought all of Civilization V and all of its... Ooh. You know what time it is. It, you, you think they'd notice that. You're just like punching open the floor. Oh, if I keep doing it, then... Oh, come over here. Join the abyss. Punch the walls or something. Oh, no, there he goes! Get him! Down we go. Or you're on now. Throw a firecracker. No, it has to, the circle has to be within his for him to hear it. No, why is go on your grapple? You can't grapple from that point. Get well, down, kill him. Uh oh. Oh no. Messy. It is quite it's it, I I think it is a little bit more gruesome to kill them. Imperfectly. Badly, yeah, yeah, imperfectly. You have to hear them. Down well, down. I mean, you hear them gurgling and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. It's, just it's gruesome either way, because this company loves gruesome. <laughs> they love gru. They love some gru. I don't, you can't climb on the ceiling. What can't I climb on? I'm Mark Goddamn Cuban. I wish I knew more, knew more about Mark Cuban so I could like Ooh, have some sort oh, of witty combat. Running. Oh, he thinks there's something there. He's right. Big yellow circle. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if he's gonna come and, and get you. And turn his meaty back. Mm, and his nice, nice fleshy throat there. Sexy. Come on. There we go. Are you doing okay up there, Lamp? Uh, oh, wow. Lamp, why didn't you say something? <laughs> I love you, Lamp. Uh, I do love Lamp. When are they going to finish that Anchorman 2? Comes out this year. Not this year enough. I need to stop running. It's gotten me into some jams. Hey, go down there. Go down. You can't tell me how to ninja. Oh. I did it because I felt the artifact, <laughs> not because you told me to. I like how he just basically runs straight up the wall. This part also gave me trouble the first time I played it. Well, the last part that Let's, gave you trouble, I beat very quickly. So. Uh, 18 floor, power's almost back on. Who's this guy? He's talking to everyone. He's the radio so man. From Spec Ops. Of course, since we didn't put those videos up, nobody who hasn't played Spec Ops will know that. Alright, now all the lights and lasers are back on. 
but I wanted to enter his abyss at some point. Um, I didn't think he would hear me, but he did. Well, I guess I'll just go take care of him. Why don't you just run to the right so he thinks you're over there? Because yeah, this guy's already like right here. Now there's lasers on in that room. Here. Yeah, there is something in the vents, asshole. Why don't you come and look? See if you can grab him before he... Ooh, nice. Now his friend doesn't know. Crimson... Haiku. Haiku. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, look. That was small. Look. No, it's not. <laughs> Ooh, that one was pretty cool. That was a leap of faith on the Emperor's Abyss. I don't know why. Unfortunately, since you threw those bodies down there, you don't have any way to, like, walking through those lasers easily. That was a bad idea. That was. Hide behind that plant. Because lasers are, plants just blind them. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned from video games, they just, they just don't know how to comprehend it. Well, it can't go through the pod. Really? That's a pretty low-tech laser, then. Well, it's not an x-ray. It's true. Obviously not heat Is the sealed. alarm still go- oh, shoot. Yes. <laughs> Awful big rats we have here. There's something right here. <laughs> Hey, hey buddy. Hey, we're down here. Take like one step forward. I see you. What's wrong with the <laughs> Awful strong breezes we're getting there from we outside. Yeah, all these guys look the same. I'm thinking they're clones. Oh, oh, oh. You really want to abyss these people. It's a new technique. Oh, come on. I don't think you're going to be able to. You're just going to have to stab him like a boring ninja. What a boring Shit ninja. Shit I have to put up with. <laughs> you don't see, like, Bruce Lee having to Damn deal it. with this. Come here. I guess he's not also, also not a ninja. Come on. The way you're doing that, just and making the screen go white and dark, just really bugs me. Well, that's how I can see. It's true. Or you could just hold up the whole time. Didn't mean it. Oh, I, I thought they could see me if I'm peeking out. I don't think they can. Oh. Because otherwise that guy would have definitely seen you before. Oh no. Hang him. With gusto. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce that. <laughs> no, it's the... <laughs> Loser. Oh wow. Peasant's death. You're going with your friends. <laughs> Into the abyss. Oh, they're gonna have a big party down there. You too, buddy. Big dead men's party. Boingo Boingo's there. They're having a grand old time. With their lads and their little girls. That is such a creepy music video and song. <laughs> it's the song. It's just... Pretty creepy. And then you think that's the same guy who's Jack Skellington's voice when he sings. Yeah. And that's the same guy who did the Simpsons theme song. It just doesn't it doesn't hook up in my mind. This guy who does this music for pretty much every Tim Burton movie ever is also well, that, that's okay. Not, yeah, that I guess that's not mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one guy is gonna be all sad because he's the only one that did. Or he'll feel like the luckiest man in the world. Tomorrow morning will be the best day of that man's life. All right, so that's gonna be the first two levels of uh, Mark Cuban of the Ninja. <laughs> Mark Cuban's Assassin Venture. We will uh, <laughs> continue this in the next video. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. Hopefully this is a good enough substitute for Thief. I think it is. I'm having a lot more fun with it. Yeah, I enjoy it. Alright, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.